So let's start by opening the GarageBand app. And it may be, if somebody's used GarageBand before, that you've actually, actually presented with previously recorded tracks when you first open it. If so, press the plus in the top left hand corner and then choose create new song. However, there's no tracks on my garage band, so I'm presented with the choice of instruments I can play to begin with. There's guitar, worlds, drummer. I can use an external source, or play a keyboard or drums. And it may be that when you first get going, you just want to have a play with some instruments and try it all out. However, I'm here to record a, a trailer for a radio show. So I'm going to use the audio recorder to record the ver voice part, first of all. So I'm going to choose voice and the audio recorder option. Now we have the option, as you can see in the middle here, of either fun, and if I press record from this point of view I can have my voice recorded in all sorts of different ways, such as monster or dream, or I can just use studio, which is just regularly, regular voice recording. Now before I actually get going with my radio show, the little blue icon up here in the top right hand corner is for a metronome that ticks. So whilst that could be useful, I don't really want it for what I'm going to do now because the noise would be too distracting. So I've turned it off. So I'm ready to go now with my voice recording for my radio show advertisement. And I'm going to hit the red record button. I've got my countdown. Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you need a high quality service for your car, you know the place to come. The best place in town. Need a car serviced? Get here quickly. Vroom. I press stop once I've recorded. Now I can pre press play and listen back to what I've recorded. Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you need a high quality service for your car, you know the place to come. The best place in town. Need a car serviced? Get here quickly. Vroom. Eight bars are actually recorded. Um, you can click on the plus in the top right hand corner if you want to extend the sequence. Uh, if we press record now, we can record over what we've done already. Um, if we probably want to do two or three takes, it's okay, you can record it as many times as you like. Now, however, I'm going to press the middle of these three icons here to flick to the, the grid view. And you can see we've got the um, playhead at the top and the waveform for the voice that's been recorded. I can move along and press play at any point. If I just swipe out from the right there, I can change the volume if I need to for this particular track. I can swipe that one back in. Now at the end, there's a little bit of white no um, white space here. White noise here, sorry, where actually nothing happens. So I'm just going to press on the blue bit, and I can choose split. And if I just drag down with the scissors, it means that I can actually start doing some editing. I can cut that little bit off at the end. And I can move my little bit of sound around if I want. We're going to add some extra tracks in the next video um, to include some sound loops and some instruments that we play ourselves. Now I've actually finished for the moment. Um, I'm going to press my songs in the top right hand corner. And we're back at the library. And if I click where it actually says my song, I can rename it. So I'm going to put Paul's Car Services. I'm done. And that's all saved now, ready for us to work on next time.